So anyways, I'm sitting on a bench. This guy walks up to me. He's looking around like, oh, hey. Hey, uh, have you seen any uh, centaurs around here, he says. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. Better have an exit strategy here, man. Looks at me, he says, yeah, so have you seen any centaurs around here? I said, no, I've never seen a centaur before, and I've been up to uh, where the tree line comes to an end, and there's nothing left. I didn't see a centaur up there either. And he says to me, oh, well, I'll tell you something. White guys like you, you can't see centaurs. It's a spiritual thing. Because if you could see the centaurs, you would have shot them all by now. <laughs> so I said, well, maybe you got a point there. I've never seen a centaur. Maybe that's why I've never seen a centaur. Maybe white guys can't see centaurs. He said, yeah, they can't see the fourth dimension. It's a spiritual problem. I said, well, spiritual problem, maybe. But you know, if I could see the fourth dimension, maybe I'd be out there wasting time and money. Maybe I wouldn't be who I am today. And then he said, hey, can I sit here? And I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. It's not my bench. I'm just sitting here reading a Jimmy Carter book, you know. And he said, hey, can I ask you, uh, can I ask of you a, uh, a favor? I was like, yeah, sure. What do you want? He takes a pair of scissors out of his jacket. And he says, hey, can you snip my eyebrows for me? He was about 60 years old. And he had like big, crazy, messy eyebrows, you know. He says, I I'm going on a date. I need someone to snip my eyebrows for me. I can just tell by looking at your face, you're an honest man. So I, I was thinking, well, this is, you know, it's kind of weird, but I guess, you know. So I just kind of, I said, look, I'll just snip them a little bit. You know why? Because women love guys with really thick, big eyebrows, you know? Like Greek Mediterranean guys got like thick eyebrows like that, you know? Me, I hardly got any eyebrows at all. In fact, I mean, in each eyebrow, there's one hair that grows really long. And about every eight months, I just kind of yoink it out and then it's gone, you know? That's only once every eight months, you know? So I just kind of snipped his eyebrows and I said, hey, yeah, so that's good. You're going on a date, you know? Somebody asked me on a date one time. She uh, was from Wetaskiwin. She said, she walked up to me and said, hey, what's your name? I said, my name's Peter. She said, oh, Peter. Wow, I like Peters. You're a Peter, eh? I said, oh, yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> I'm a Peter. And she said, okay, Peter. Well, meet me at the casino at 7 o'clock. Because my mom wants to meet you first. Then when she was walking away, she looked back and she said, And uh, Peter, make sure you bring lots of money just in case we got nothing to talk about. <laughs> so I was thinking already, well, wow, this is woman's really something else, eh? Well, she knows what she wants and uh, she can think ahead a bit, you know. So I went to the casino, and I was only 17 years old, so they wouldn't let me in. She was 19, so I never saw her again. So anyways, that was my story to the old guy after I his eyebrows. And uh, just so you know, that was before COVID-19. So, you know, I wasn't like snipping a guy's eyebrows at a dangerous time to do so. And you can't snip an old dude's eyebrows from like six feet away, you know. So I was safe. You know, <laughs> anyways, I was just, you know, kind of concerned about you, you know, how, how are you doing? How is everything with you? You know, I'm doing good. Reading lots of books, reading lots of the Greeks, you know, I like the Greek mythology. Greek mythology is not a revelation of God's character. It's actually about human nature and all the gods and the Greek characters and all the creatures and everything oh 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 my face was itchy there sorry about that anyways like i was saying all the greek gods and greek mythology they actually tell the story of human nature and humanity it's not about god it's about uh how we came to be what we are and what we are as human beings it's very deep stuff you know 
very deep. You can't you can't understand stuff like that just by reading memes. You gotta like read ancient literature and study hermeneutics and stuff like that. So you understand the suggestion of it all. It's meaningful stuff. It's great. So that's what I've been doing during the pandemic and I got nothing to do, like just lots of time and I'm eating lots of lasagna, doing all right. I'm saving lives by staying home. <laughs> okay, bye.